Yeah, I was looking for a, a DC power supply for my desktop, uh, mainly because uh, I'm work restoring a classic Corvette, and uh, I like to take the components out of the car, and I like to test them on a bench as opposed to the car. It's just easier for me to test them with a 12-volt power supply, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it because I'm not doing that kind of work. But anyway, I, I saw this on eBay for $45, and I figured, you know, what the heck, 45 bucks, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and get one. Uh, I read, a, I read a lot of reviews, uh, uh, a lot of negative reviews, you know, and some pretty good reviews. Uh, mostly, people unboxed it and set it up and everything, and they couldn't get the constant current to work or. Uh, as opposed to the constant, constant voltage, um, one of the things I did, you know, I, I I got the unit, I plugged it in, made sure all the all the values on the current constant current constant voltage were minimum, turned it on, let it warm up. The instruction manual says let it warm up for at least 10 or 15 minutes. You know, you'll get better readings, more accurate readings like that. So I said, well, yeah, I'll do that. You know. And, so anyway, I made sure I read the directions. One of the things the direction says don't connect any load to the power slide before it is turned on. Likewise, make sure that you disconnect the load before shutting it down. If you're running magnetic coils, DC motors, stepper motors, etc., make sure to change change the volts and never turn the power supply on or off with it with a load connected. Uh, so I, I made sure I read the directions. I just thought I would point out those two things. Uh, you know, the, the uh, user manual is not, not too bad, you know. It shows you what everything is, et cetera, et cetera. And it also shows you how to uh, set, the, set your, your vol constant voltage setting. And it also shows you how to, how to set your constant current setting you have to you know if you buy one of these of course you'll need to read the directions but you have to short you have to set your current to your desired current setting then you have to short you know short your your leads out and then you're constant then you're ready to go to work but uh, I right out of the box I never had any issues with it and I'm, it always worked really good for me um, I never had any problem with constant current or, you know, here's a little light, a little 12 volt light. Like a lot of the, uh, my, my, my Corvette has a lot of uh, interior lights and et cetera, et cetera. Point three zero amps. Uh, you can move. You can uh, actually move this over to current. So you can uh, you can move it around. You can play with it. Move it over to constant cur or current. You know, use your current. So you can turn the volts all the way up, and it's running off of current. Uh, like I say, I never had any problems. Uh, there's a little DC motor here. Here's a little DC motor here. Um, Constant current. So you can turn the voltage all the way as high as you want. Still running on current.
constant voltage. Put the motor in a bit of a bind, and the amp and the uh, current amps will go up to try to keep up. And hook up the. Uh, Hook up the multimeter in series and uh, for the, and uh, show the amps. Bolts, voltage, current, voltage, current. Like I say, I never had I never had a lot of problems with it. Uh, right out of the box, I hooked it up and everything was working really good. Like I say, you know, I just uh, basically wanted uh, something that I could work on my uh, some of the uh, DC components out of the uh, the uh, the old Corvette, and uh, I wanted to be able to bring them in, put them on a wanted to, wanted to look at the amps, amperage, and. Uh, I don't know, you know, there's there's some guys on YouTube who really did a good job reviewing these power supplies. So I really didn't want to get into that other than just uh, give my opinion about it. I like it personally. It, it does what I need it to do uh, and uh, it worked for me right out of the box. Uh, I didn't have any problems at all. 